Hi, this is Captain Rob from Chowd Air. This is our second part of our video series uh, discussing how to use the Stream Deck in VR to have better control over your aircraft and X-Plane. We are going to cover a lot of information in this one video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to segment each uh, little section and then put in the timestamp. So in YouTube, you'll be able to go back and look at any section you want to multiple times uh, just so it can make a little more sense. So let's start the section talking about how we communicate between the Stream Deck appliance and into X-Plane directly. So in the X-Plane folder in the resources and plugins, I have a third party plugin here called the EXT Plane. And this is a great plugin. It allows external programs to be able to communicate uh, through Telnet into X-Plane to control things like the data refs. And so when the EXT Plane plugin is alive, <clears throat> I'm just going to fire up the system here so we can have a better look at it. What happens is that uh, I open a, a terminal window and uh, it starts a Telnet session on 51,000, uh, port 51,000, it's the local host. And now you can see at the top of that window there, it's got EXT Plane 1.1 1 .1 and it's just waiting for commands. And back in the Stream Deck, what I've done is that every command that I have is essentially just typing some text. So here we're looking at removing the door. So you see I have a subcommand, which allows me to uh, connect to a data ref. So I've got subs on all four doors. And then I have set commands for all four doors. See so here you see I'm setting the door to be zero, which would then turn it off. So if I go back here and listen to the telnet window and I hit that button to remove the doors, it's basically just typing out all of that text directly into the uh, window to being telnetted into X-Plane to directly connect and control those data refs. Uh, likewise, if I hit the add all doors button, they all come back on and I can open and close doors just at the touch of a button. So there's two types of data refs and we'll get into this more in a separate video. The one you're seeing here is a sub uh, connection to the data ref and then a set command and then other ones like the doors are actually a command so I'm just saying command once uh, operate slider 02 which is actually the pilot door and so that just means if I keep pressing that button um, it would just open and close that door I have to make sure the terminal windows uh, front and center and just pressing that button specifically or whichever button I want is going to be a direct command so that's the first section. That's just how we're communicating directly from the Stream Deck into X-Plane using that EXT Plane plugin. And we're basically just sending text uh, from the Stream Deck and typing it into the terminal window, which is then being sent over. All right, so we have good communication now happening between the Stream Deck and into X-Plane, but we can't see any of that because we're wearing our virtual reality headset and we can't physically see the Stream Deck sitting on our knee. So how do I take the Stream Deck as we see it here on the desktop and pop that into VR space? Well, that is a third-party piece of software called OVR Drop, and this is available in the Steam store. That's where I'm getting it because I'm using Steam VR with my Windows Mixed Reality. And what OVR Drop does is it will take real world uh, windows inside of uh, your uh, Windows machine and put them into the virtual reality space. And the way we do that is there's a pull down menu here at the top. And inside here, you can see basically any window that I have open and available here. It's detecting nine different ones. Uh, and so we just choose the actual Stream Deck window and say that that is the one that we want to pop into VR space. Okay. Uh, I have done a bunch of tweaking here to set the, you know, the Z depth and the X and Y plane so that it shows up basically to the right of my instrument panel. Um, and so I will be including the, uh, the preferences for this app in the downloadable uh, items that you get. And so this is just kind of a, a basics for you and it, it might you know, you might tweak it to be better for yourself. The one thing I will say is I'm uh, pinning this to world space. Uh, so that means it's pinning inside the world. You could also kind of pin it to your head. But of course, you don't want it moving all over the place when you're moving your head around. You want it to be pinned kind of next to the instrument panel and stay there. And then up in this top uh, area here, you can set uh, a profile name. So I've done all of these settings, and I just save it as the X-Plane profile. And basically, every time I launch OVR Drop, I then tell it to open up this X-Plane profile, and that automatically puts the windows all where they belong. The one trick to this, the caveat is, 
the Stream Deck uh, window here has to not be covered by anything. If something were to cover this, that would show up in the VR space covering the Stream Deck. So this Stream Deck has to be kind of front and center. Now, the trick for me, because of course we're in VR, is that I don't really care that this window is hiding in the background because I am seeing everything in my VR headset. So I can actually leave the Stream Deck kind of front and center and not worry about it. And typically, after I've launched this OVR drop, I just hide it, and then it's not in the way. And I need to have the Telnet front and center so that it's the receiver when I'm hitting any of the buttons on the Stream Deck so that it's typed into that window specifically. So once this is all up and operational, this is the way it's set up. The Stream Deck panel is off to the side where it's unencumbered by another window, and the Telnet localhost window is open and front and center, so it's going to receive any text that's being typed out by hitting the buttons on the actual Stream Deck page. All right, the last thing I have in place here is some automation to help me set this up every time uh, so I can just hit one button and launch it all and not even have to think about it. Uh, because as I mentioned, the Stream Deck window has to be over here and unencumbered by another window, and we have to have the terminal window front and center to receive the text out of the Stream Deck. So what I have is a tool called uh, Auto Hotkey, and this is a kind of a Windows scripting tool, and it helps me out uh, doing all of these different functions. So I'm just going to open up the scripts and then we can go through it here line by line and talk about what it does. So the very first thing it does is actually launches the Stream Deck app, which is what opens up this window over here on the right hand side. And once it's, uh, you know, waits for that to launch and it activates it and then the last thing it does is actually moves it. So 1075 by 300, that actually moves it to its proper location here on the screen. So I don't have to do that every time, it just happens automatically because of the script. The next thing that happens is the OVR drop actually launches. And this is that uh, program that brings the uh, Stream Deck into the VR space. And you'll see here, I can actually target it to that Stream Deck preference pack that I had set up. So that automatically opens that. So again, waits for it to activate and moves it out of the way. And then it actually clicks the load button. That's what this 920 by 65, that's where the load button sits to actually load that Stream Deck profile. And then it does a minimize, so that drops the OVR drop out of the way. I don't have to see it. It's just going to operate in the background, no problem. And then the last function here is uh, running the command uh, executable, which opens up this terminal window. And then it waits for that to happen. It moves it again to 2020, so it moves it to this top left area. And then it sends, you know, Telnet Locos port number 51000 enter. So that actually starts the communication with X-Plane. And so this script launches all of these pieces, drops them in the right area, and I don't even have to think about them. That is up and ready to go. Okay. And so that script is then just uh, mapped to a button here. Uh, this green one in the bottom row, this green H, is the auto hotkey script. So that actually does that launch of all of these things. And the red one will quit them. So if I hit the red one right now, it quits it all. And if I hit the green one here, you'll see it goes to the launch. Boom, boom, moves everything, sets it all up, one shot. The yellow one in the middle is occasionally uh, when I'm inside the cockpit and it all starts up, I'll get some sort of weird frame uh, drag, like the frame rate is not keeping up. So if I just hit that yellow H key, that actually will uh, basically re just reload the OVR drop, which tends to clean everything up and gets the frame rate back to be perfect again. So thanks again for watching the second video in the series. Uh, hopefully this uh, clarifies how to use all of the software to uh, bring the Stream Deck into the VR space. Uh, again, I will have uh, some timestamps in the uh, YouTube video description so you can go back and watch certain sections over again. Uh, and remember that this relies really on two third-party pieces of software to make it happen. That EXT Plane plugin, uh, which is an open source uh, X-Plane plugin, and that OVR Drop, which is a paid Steam app, which uh, helps bring that window into VR space. So uh, collectively, all of this uh, really enhances your um, experience in VR uh, flying at X-Plane. Thanks for watching.